Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Megalovania from, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Live Alive. What if we hard greeted all of our roles to tier 4 and just said we were named Kuroto? This can be our low effort game of the night. I need at least one low effort game per night. Imagine spending a roll before tier 4. Just imagine a world where you spend a roll before tier 4. That's just wasteful. Why would someone do something like that? Thanks for the follow, Debella. Or D D Belial? D Belial. Ah, D Belial. I see. My text is small and I'm a blind old man. Prediction is is up if anyone wants to uh, bet on my greed. There's a very small part of me that's wanting to click this, but we need to break through quicker. So, Titania, I mostly agree with you, except I do think you roll, like, a... Like, right here, I think it's unreasonable to not roll for, like, a fire card, right? To play Peach Blossom and a fire card instead of Impact Form. I, I, I think it is insane to not be doing that. If you're trying to play this character well, I do think you roll at least slightly. Like, not hard roll early, but, like, roll at least slightly. Um, but I like doing the Kuroto Breakthrough where we just kick everything to hit Tier 4 as quick as possible. So any rolls here are completely wasted because we're kicking them anyways. I don't agree with Formation Master because I think Formation Master has some really, really good side job cards to find if we were wanting to do that. I mean, it's got to be great waves, but man, is that attempting echo to lock. Man, is that attempting echo to lock. That's a hard choice. I mean, honestly, we're kind of just winning this, right? Play this. As much as I would like to put this in for an extra stack towards the passive, we'll get there. I know, but you, you, you do strong disagree with most of what I do. To be fair, I think both are reasonable lines. Last time I locked Echo, we never found a Marrow at all. Whereas the uh, Great Waves is always just guaranteed good immediately. 
helps us stabilize after we do our uh, suicide break through to four. I think both are very reasonable lines, though. Find this anyways. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is great for us. The cheese. The cheese. The cheese. I don't really want the fight to go long. Are we ever going first against you? Yeah, probably if we just kick that. I will take scroll of HP now, I'm pretty sure. We'll probably take that path of accumulation. Like this fire child's energy, yeah. Not on the inboards I'm going for. we're going to have to kick these on our breakthrough. Isn't that sad? This is another game whose soundtrack did not need to go this hard. Ghost Strikers, or uh, not, what is it? Uh, go Ghost Strikers is the name of the song. Um, Omega Strikers. I don't know why this this is such a good uh, soundtrack. Well, I was gonna crazy breakthrough here, but we ended up accidentally getting a good board without any rolls. I kind of still want a crazy breakthrough, but it involves actually kicking everything on our board, and I don't think it makes our board that much stronger by doing. But this is what I said I would do. And I don't want anyone to call me a liar. Click all the buttons. There we go. I did click both, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, even more crazy than kicking Peach Blossom was kicking uh, Turbulent. Kicking Turbulent was the really, really bad choice there, too, for what I'm trying to do. But I did tell people I'd be doing the Kuroto Breakthrough. And again, I don't want anyone to call me a liar here. Plus, we uh we pay to win these normals. We've got to we've got to pay to win Flam, right?
We're gonna keep the metal cards. Spring is good. Kind of awkward. This is actually kind of awkward. Because we want the metal card for Cirque stuff, but we want the spring more immediately. I'm gonna roll this. Okay, we found a better metal card. No, no, I, I, I very much know that world. I totally know that world. It's not, it's not like I don't understand how the game works. <laughs> I, I do very much understand how this game is played. I just choose to live in my own world where I play it differently. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. This is very far from the optimal way to play Chinri, but it is a fun way that I like to play her. If you're gonna get a move in a game named after you, the Kuroto Breakthrough, you gotta do it, right? Like, you can't, like, just get it named after you and never do it again. You still have to do it, even when it's wrong to do. I can't let Surreal call this the Kuroda Breakthrough and then not do the Kuroda Breakthrough. That's just disrespectful to him. Thanks for the follow, Nabu. Easy game. Easy game. How's Hexproof looking in this lobby? It's not. Cool. Never punished? Why would I get punished? Getting punished doesn't sound like something I'd want to do. And we just packed of accumulationing over here. Life is good. Life is good. This song is so good. I bought the game fr that it's from today. Even though I'm not really interested in the game itself, just because of how good this song is. Like, you can't be a bad game if you have this good of music. The Iron Bone does something, it shortens our, uh, it shortens our board by a card, because it activates the shuttle. It's doing something. But you gotta live up to it, Titania. Own it. Easy game. Kind, kind of awkward how many of these we have now, but easy game. Tutelary is really good. Tutelary is really, really good. It feels wrong to roll Tutelary here. But we can only play two continuous cards, and we have the water form already. And we've got a billion great waves, so it's probably fine to roll. I don't know. Yeah, that was a pretty atrocious round 10 board, I'm not gonna lie. World Smash is actually okay here. If we put this in, but again, that just feels like it's disrespecting what we're doing. Why would I do that? World Smash. World Smash isn't a real card. I don't need Iron Bone. Iron Bone isn't a real card. This is a real card. Well, I mean, Steep is just better than Glyph if it's not active, right? Easy game.
Uh, probably not, and I'm actually thinking we're going to replace it right now. Kind of depends on what our board, opponent's board is doing. I have a feeling we're just doing this instead. I do want to point out, regardless of this being the wrong playstyle, we haven't lost a single round since we broke through to four. And almost all of our destiny damage was self-inflicted from the shop. Not saying this is the right playstyle by any means, but... I mean, I'm here. Oh, he got a lot faster. That was like 10 cultivation out of this boy. I have a... I honestly feel like such an enabler for my opponents. Like, I'm, I'm really, really happy that I can help them achieve their goals, because I don't know what it is about me, but me existing makes my opponents immediately, like, go, oh shit, I gotta cultivate, don't I? It feels like we do always run into people on the turn that they get 10 plus cultivation, and I'm happy for them for that. I'm happy I can inspire such growth in others. He's dead. The growth wasn't enough, but, you know, I, I'm still happy for him. Actually relevant in this lobby? Sure. Maybe. I'm going to roll the spring for it. UWF? That's not my playstyle. Do I look like a UWF abuser? Or rather, user? Absolutely not. We're just going to continue greeting here. dive, but skip it to play a normal? I like the energy. I don't think that's what we're doing, but I like the energy. This way we get to show the normal without having to actually use it. I would like to take all of your water spirit formations, please. Why would we have played Mirror earlier? How does that help us at all? Not the Marrow. I just need to find the Echo. Are we able to greet from here? That looks greetable still. Chase more often in cycles, but that doesn't actually speed up the board. That doesn't that doesn't make anything faster. This is this is just essentially this here is just removing two cards from our board. No, it doesn't. This this plays all of our cards at the exact same speed that this plays all of our cards at the exact same speed. This, this gives no benefit. This is just removing two cards from the deck. Our, our deck is Spring Rain, Water Formation, Waves, 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 Dive. No matter where we put this, other than if this skips something. 
I think I can greed a little bit more out of our uh, active accumulation exchange. Next turn, I'll probably go all in. Yeah, playing around side with Meru is important. Playing around, if you have multiple chases, the timing of your Meru to not mess up your other chases is important. But if it's your only chase, it, it literally doesn't matter. Slot 1 maxed Avalanche is kind of spooky. Like, she's definitely getting back to that. She's probably getting back to that. She's maybe getting back to that? She's getting back to it. Good for her. And we found the Echo. Easy game. Easy game. Easy game. Are there any musicians in the lobby? I don't think there are, right? Yeah, okay. So we just win the lobby? That's cool. I like that. I do like just winning the lobby. Cool. Um, may as well just roll all the way down at this point and finish our food, right? I guess there's no reason to roll this, so we can just keep going here. Wait, how did this make it back on... Cool song, but we did already hear this. How did this make it onto our playlist? Again. I already had this... Cool song, but we heard this tonight. So I don't know how it showed up again. That was weird. There we go. Those are the boards I play on her, except it doesn't have the echo for him. How dare them. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take a peek. We didn't have much time. I would actually see the game. Sure. Sure. I mean... The manias are really, really, really good, but that means we aren't playing Mirror Rhythm Echo Formation. I'm not scared of this board either, so I don't need to roll down again. This looks OP. This does look OP. You're right. I should probably just cash out. Probably stupid to not just cash out. But, what if I didn't cash out? Dive doesn't really do much against you. May as well just keep Great Wavesing. What if I just didn't cash out? I should probably cash out. Whatever, we'll take one more. One more greedy turn. What could one more greedy turn do to us? I should probably have kept those cards just because we're rolling them next turn and I don't need speed here. Whatever. I, I agree with that entirely, Titania, after I kicked them. Yep. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> Let's 
心大动啊！Because the speed definitely does not matter in this matchup. It it could be so border. By the way, it could be extremely tough and unintuitive to figure out some of those things. So definitely not critiquing you at all for having thought that. That that makes a lot of sense why you were thinking that. Um, I messed myself up with uh, mirror positioning on uh, what is it? Uh, what are they called? Um, unrestrained boards all the time. So, I've completely been in that spot. So, do I get any bonus for keeping 20 exchanges into the next game? Because, like, I don't need it here either, right? <laughs> okay, I should, I should probably just finish my food. Let's cash out. Let's cash out. Oh my god. Immediately rewarded for cashing out. Immediately rewarded for cashing out. Um, the dive's got to go in. Or, sorry, the turbulence's got to go in. Right, and this is max dive. I don't roll anything here. Ridiculous. So, like... Like this now. We have the max dive if I wanted the max dive. That's probably better than the waves here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is... So stupid. The only thing we're missing is combined rivers. It's like the only thing that would improve this board right now. This is quite obscene. Right into the guard up. You'll love to see it. Ah, my next victim. I mean, at this point, I kind of want to just keep 20 rolls into the next round, right? Nah, let's let's finish our food. Let's finish our food. There's a combined rivers. Am I turbulenting against you? Am I turbulenting against you? I kind of feel like I'm not. It gives us good kill times, but I don't care. We're winning no matter what I do. It doesn't really matter. There we go, another upgrade. Yep, this looks like a board. This seems fair. Ah, the good old full greed Chinri high roll. You'll love to see it. Why play well when you can play Chinri? Buying yourself another turn? You fool. You've prolonged your suffering. Cat didn't need all the luck. Chinri makes her own luck. All you have to do is just believe that you're going to hit everything in formation mono water, and it happens. Sometimes. And it's fun when it happens. Sometimes. 